Hi guys, this is Calera Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the 2 over 2 RC, and this is a four stitch cable where the last two stitches cross over the front and to the right of the first two stitches. And I'm going to be showing you this cable using a cable needle, and also I'll show you how to do it without the cable needle. That just helps you work the cable a little faster when you're doing a pattern where you have a lot of those in a row. So the first thing we'll do is we'll locate the four stitches that we're gonna cable. And the first thing you're gonna do is slip the first and second stitch onto your cable needle. And we'll do that purlwise, like so. So there's the first two stitches. And in order for this to work, those stitches have to be held to the back of our work. So you'll wanna center those on your cable needle. In this case, I'm using a DPN the same size as my working needles. But that will rest in the back of your work. And then you'll pick up your working yarn. Make sure that you go in front of the cable needle. You don't actually want to work any of the stitches on the needle, okay? And now we'll knit the last two stitches of our cable. One, two, okay. Now we can go ahead and pick up the two stitches that we have reserved on our cable needle and you can put those back onto your left hand needle. Or alternately you can knit off of your cable needle if you're using one. Now you'll put your working yarn in the back and you can knit the two stitches that we picked up from our cable needle. So that is how you do the two over two RC cable with a cable needle. But I find that it goes a lot quicker without a cable needle, and I'll show you how to do that. So instead of slipping the first two stitches to our cable needle and holding it to the back, we're just going to act as if our left hand working needle is the cable needle. And I'll show you what I mean. It's gonna, those two stitches are gonna stay on the left hand needle and we're gonna use our right hand needle tip to just go in purl wise to the last two stitches of the cable. So here's the first two, these are the last two. And we're just gonna hold those on our right hand needle and now we're gonna go to the first two that we left and we're actually gonna pinch these and hold them to secure them and we're going to pull out our left hand needle from all four stitches, and then we're gonna go right back to picking up those first two stitches. Not actually picking up these two that are resting on our right hand needle. And that, that sounds a little confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna grab the first two and pinch them, pull our working needle out of the two that we put on our right hand needle, and we're gonna rotate around and pick up the two stitches that we pinched and then we'll rotate our work and we'll place the two stitches on our right hand needle back onto the left. Okay, so if you look, we've created that two over two RC cable, but now we just need to finish by knitting them. So one, two, three, four. And there's our cable completed. So I'm gonna show you this again. We'll work over to our cable placement Here's our four stitches. And again, we're gonna place our right hand needle tip through purlwise, this, the third and fourth stitches. We're gonna grab the first two, slide those off the right hand, sorry, left hand needle, pull the left hand needle out, and pick them right back up again, like so. And then rotate around and place our third and fourth stitches back on the left hand needle. So essentially we've just reoriented those stitches to be two over two right crossing. And now we can knit them. One, two, three, four. And there's our last two over two RC complete. So we've done three of these cables, the first with the cable needle and the second two without, and you can see they look completely the same no matter what method you use. But as you practice this, you'll find that it goes by a lot quicker and it's a lot easier than utilizing that cable needle. So I hope this technique helps you guys out and thanks so much for watching.